This medication contains two hormones, a progestin and an estrogen, and is used to prevent pregnancy. In addition to preventing pregnancy, it can also help make your periods more regular, decrease blood loss and painful periods, decrease the risk of ovarian cysts, and treat acne. However, it is important to note that this medication does not protect against sexually transmitted diseases. It is important to take this medication at the same time every day for it to be most effective. Before starting to use this product, be sure to read the patient information leaflet provided by your pharmacist. It contains important information on when to take your pills and what to do if you miss a dose. If you have any questions, ask your doctor or pharmacist. Take this medication by mouth as directed by your doctor, usually once daily. Choose a time of day that is easy for you to remember, and take your pill at the same time each day. If you are taking the chewable tablet, you may either swallow it whole or chew it thoroughly and then swallow. Follow the manufacturer's directions for your specific brand. Continue taking this medication exactly as prescribed by your doctor. With certain brands of birth control pills, the amount of estrogen and progestin in each active tablet will vary at different times in the cycle. Follow the package instructions to find the first tablet, start with the first tablet in the pack, and take them in the correct order. Do not skip any doses. If you experience vomiting or diarrhea, you may need to use a backup birth control method, such as condoms or spermicide. Follow the directions in the patient information leaflet and consult your doctor or pharmacist for more details. Taking this medication after your evening meal or at bedtime may help if you experience stomach upset or nausea. Regardless of the dosing schedule you use, it is important to take this medication at the same time each day, 24 hours apart. Consult your doctor or pharmacist if you have any questions. Your pill pack contains 21 pills with active medication. Take one active pill, with hormones, once daily for 21 days in a row, followed by 7 days of either no pills or reminder pills with no medication. You should have your period during the 4th week of the cycle. After that, start a new pack the next day whether or not you have your period. If you do not get your period, consult your doctor. If this is the first time you are using this medication and you are not switching from another form of hormonal birth control, take the first tablet in the pack on the first Sunday following the beginning of your menstrual period or on the first day of your period. Use an additional form of non-hormonal birth control for the first seven days to prevent pregnancy until the medication has enough time to work. If you start on the first day of your period, you do not need to use backup birth control the first week. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about how to switch from other forms of hormonal birth control to this product. If any information is unclear, consult the patient information leaflet or your doctor or pharmacist. Some common side effects of norethindronethanil estradiol include nausea, vomiting, headache, bloating, breast tenderness, swelling of the ankles feet, or weight change. You may also experience vaginal bleeding between periods or missed irregular periods, especially during the first few months of use. If any of these effects persist or worsen, it is important to notify your doctor or pharmacist. It's important to remember that this medication has been prescribed to you because your doctor has determined that the benefits outweigh the potential risks of side effects. Many people using this medication do not experience serious side effects. However, it's important to monitor your blood pressure regularly, as this medication may raise it. In addition, be sure to contact your doctor right away if you experience any serious side effects, such as lumps in the breast, mental-slash-mood changes, severe stomach-slash-abdominal pain, unusual changes in vaginal bleeding, dark urine, or yellowing of the eyes-slash-skin. Norethindronethanil estradiol may also rarely cause serious, sometimes fatal, problems from blood clots. Seek immediate medical help if you experience symptoms such as chest-slash-jaw-slash-left arm pain, confusion, sudden dizziness-slash-fainting, pain-slash-swelling-slash-warmth in the groin-slash-calf, trouble speaking, sudden shortness of breath-slash-rapid breathing, unusual headaches, unusual sweating, weakness on one side of the body, or vision problems-slash-changes. If you notice any symptoms of a serious allergic reaction, such as rash, itching-slash-swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing, seek medical help right away. It's important to note that this is not a complete list of possible side effects, and if you experience any other effects not listed, you should contact your doctor or pharmacist.
If you are 35 years old or older and smoke cigarettes or use tobacco, it is not safe for you to use norethindrin ethanol estradiol. This is because smoking can increase your risk of experiencing serious problems such as stroke, heart attack, blood clots, and high blood pressure while using hormonal birth control. It is important to avoid smoking or using tobacco while taking this medication. Before using this medication, it's important to let your doctor or pharmacist know if you have any allergies to estrogens or progestins, or any other allergies. This is because the product may contain inactive ingredients that can cause allergic reactions or other problems. You should also discuss your medical history with your doctor or pharmacist, especially if you have a history of blood clots, high blood pressure, abnormal breast exams, cancer, high cholesterol, depression, diabetes, gallbladder problems, severe headaches, heart problems, kidney or liver disease, obesity, stroke, thyroid problems, or unexplained vaginal bleeding. If you have diabetes, it's important to monitor your blood sugar regularly and report any changes to your doctor. Additionally, if you are planning to have surgery or will be confined to a bed for a long time, you may need to stop this medication temporarily or take special precautions. It's also important to be aware that this medication may cause dark areas on your face and skin, especially when exposed to sunlight. If you wear contact lenses, you may experience vision problems, so it's important to contact your eye doctor if this occurs. This medication should not be used during pregnancy, and if you become pregnant while taking it, you should notify your doctor immediately. It may also decrease breast milk production and have potential effects on a nursing infant, so consult your doctor before breastfeeding. When taking norethindrin ethanol estradiol, it's important to be aware of any potential drug interactions that could affect how the medication works or increase the risk of serious side effects. It's essential to keep a list of all the products you use and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Some products that may interact with norethindrin ethanol estradiol include aromatase inhibitors, fezolinitant, aspemaphine, tamoxifen, tizanidine, tranexamic acid, and certain combination products used to treat chronic hepatitis C. There are also some drugs that may cause hormonal birth control to work less effectively, leading to a potential risk of pregnancy. These drugs include griseofulvin, modifinal, rifamycins, ritonavir, St. John's wort, drugs used to treat seizures, and HIV drugs, among others. If you start any new drug, it's important to inform your doctor and discuss if you should use additional reliable birth control. Additionally, norethindrin ethanol estradiol may interfere with certain lab tests, potentially causing false test results. It's essential to inform lab personnel and all your doctors that you are using this medication. If someone has taken too much of norethindrin ethanol estradiol and experiences severe symptoms like passing out or difficulty breathing, it's important to seek immediate medical help. In the U.S., you can call the local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222, while in Canada, you can reach out to a provincial poison control center. Symptoms of overdose may include severe nausea and vomiting, as well as sudden or unusual vaginal bleeding. It's essential to take the appropriate dosage of norethindrin ethanol estradiol as prescribed by your doctor and to seek medical attention if you suspect an overdose. It's important not to share this medication with others. You should make sure to have regular complete physical exams, including lab and or medical tests such as blood pressure, breast exam, pelvic exam, and pap smear, while taking this medication. Follow your doctor's instructions for examining your breasts and report any lumps right away. It's important to keep all medical and lab appointments and consult your doctor for more details. If you miss a dose, refer to the product package for guidance. It's important to use additional birth control methods, like condoms or spermicide, to avoid pregnancy. If you have questions, consult your doctor or pharmacist. If you frequently forget to take your pills, talk to your doctor about switching to a different type of birth control. Make sure to store norethindrin ethanol estradiol at room temperature, away from light and moisture. It's important to keep it out of the reach of children and pets. When it's time to get rid of this medication, make sure to do so properly, don't just flush it down the toilet or pour it into a drain. Check with your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for the best way to dispose of it when it's expired or no longer needed. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, 
you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.